number 35, dimers, aluminum chlorides. So I draw the structure here, and then we see the information. Each aluminum is surrounded by four chlorine atoms. That statement is true, four chlorine atoms over each aluminum. There are 12 non-bonded electron pairs. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So even without considering the inside shells, the outside shells, at least we have 16 non-bonded. So number 2 is wrong. Statement 3 must be wrong because number 2 is wrong, but we will see. Aluminium contributes electrons to 4 covalent bonds. It contributes to 3. Okay. This one is a dative bond, so not considered contributed by aluminium. Number 36 can be tricky, so I've translated all this into the actual halogens. So statement number 1, reaction of HCl to form hydrogen and Cl2 right, is more than to form H2 and Br. So what we can do is I write it out again, like I said, and then we can actually calculate the bond energy based on the data or the values in the data booklet where bond energy of reactants HCl subtract bond energy of products H to a bonded to H Cl bonded to Cl so if you do a calculations this is plus 184 for HBr reactants subtract bond energy of products we have plus 103 so 184 one zero three. It is true that okay, it is more for HCl. If you don't want to refer to data booklet, if you know your concepts, you can you should understand that it is easier to for HBr to decompose back to H two and Br two. So if it's easier, this will actually be a less endothermic number or more exothermic. But sometimes that can be confusing. You can put in numbers if you want. Kp of HBr versus Kp of Hi. I put the expression of Kp. Partial pressure H2 Br2 over HBr. I should square this. And for HCl we have this. And then you should understand that HBr, it is easier to form the products. So this number on top is higher than the number that is for on top for HCl. Okay, I repeat is more products will be formed for HBr because it's easier to form. So we have a larger number for HBr compared to HCl. In other words we have a larger number for Kp of HBr. So that will be true for number two also. Ionization energy if you can remember is I has one more shell it's easier to remove so it will be less endothermic than Cl or if you want to refer to data booklet plus 1010 for ionization energy of iodine 1260 it will be less than Cl ionization energy so number 3 is wrong So if you are confused by the signs, whether endothermic, more endothermic, less exothermic and all that, well, go back to the data booklet and actually calculate the numbers. It might be easier. Chloroethane can be formed from two steps. We have halogen alkanes. To form it into an alcohol, we have to replace this with OH. We can use hydrolysis of sodium hydroxide. And then once we have this, we want to change it back to a halogen alkane. We can use PCL3, PCL5, SOCl2, some of the options and all that. So hot aqueous sodium hydroxide is a reagent in step X that's feasible. SOCl2, step Y, one of the options. 
and X is a substitution reaction. We have substituted your Br with OH. So all three are correct. Thirty eight. Which one will react in a redox reaction? We have aldehyde oxidized to acid by this small oxidizing agent. So one is correct. Methane and Cl2, if they react, likely will be free radical. Not a redox reaction. This is a ketone. They will not be oxidized with Tolens reagent. So only the aldehyde will be oxidized. 39. Reacting different acids with calcium and whether they get this formula in the end. So we start off with ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid, the only hydrogen that can react will be this H. So I remove this H. It will form a minus charge. Your CA will form a 2 plus charge because it's group 2. So we need the ratio to be 2 for your ethanoic ion okay and then if we add up the formula we will have c2 multiplied by 2 will be c4 h will be 6 o will be 4 that doesn't fulfill this condition we want too many hydrogens for this side so this is out that means 2 and 3 must be correct again we check the two ends have carboxylate groups, so this will be gone, this will be gone. We have a 2 minus charge because two hydrogen protons are given up. And then we have Ca2 plus again, that means 1 is to 1. And then we add up the carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4, C4, H4, O4. Okay, and with a Ca. So we have this ratio. So number two is correct. The third acid, this will be gone, minus, this will be gone, another minus. So total again is two minus, and a two plus for calcium. One ratio, one is to one. And then we have four carbons, four hydrogen, and four oxygen. Number 40, ethanol and hydrogen cyanide. So the mechanism will involve the nucleophile, the cyanide ions attacking the partial positive carbon here. So we have a carbon-carbon bond form. Then a bond between carbon and oxygen, or at least one pair of electrons will be pushed up to the oxygen. So we have this intermediate here and we have HCN hydrogen cyanide the lone pair will form oxygen and hydrogen will form a new bond and then hydrogen and carbon the bonds will be broken giving us this molecule here So what happens? A carbon-carbon bond is formed. It's happening here. Carbon, carbon bond forming. Carbon-hydrogen bond broken. That will be happening here. This bond between hydrogen and carbon is broken. A carbon-nitrogen bond broken. It is not broken here. They stick to each other. And it is also not broken here between this carbon and nitrogen. They are together also. So number three is out. Number 